Welcome back to Montenegro. In the last episode, we made our way out of the incredible Albanian Alps and into the muddy mountains of Montenegro. In this episode, we have an unexpected change of direction and head west as we edge closer to our final destination. So this is the campground where we stayed last night and the restaurant is just up in this building up here. Um, I had a pretty good night's sleep. I think it was definitely something to do with all the brandy shots that <laughs> you kept giving us. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cold last night. It's definitely cooled down a lot today. We've had to pull out a few of our warmer jackets. And now we are actually heading off to Serbia. So it's about a 50 kilometer drive from here to the border and then we're going to continue about another 50 kilometers to a viewpoint of a river that has like these espens in it so that should be pretty cool um and the truth is still absolutely filthy so uh yeah if we see a car wash we might just stop there and give it a quick little little bath um but yeah that's what we're doing today stopped in at this town here. I had to get some money out because we didn't have any left on us. So I thought I'll just get 200 euros out, hoping that it would give me 50s and then I can just use them to exchange and whatever in the next couple of countries. I have never been to an ATM where it's given you more than a 50, but just then I got two 100s out and that is so inconvenient when traveling because literally nobody wants to change a 100. And they're suspicious as well. <laughs> Yeah, they're always like, is this real? And it's Sunday, so the banks aren't open. Nowhere's open for me to change it into anything smaller. So anyway. Very fun buying lunch. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So yeah, we've got about 20 kilometers till we get to the border. This is what we're looking at. And it's nice, the, um, the sky has cleared up a lot. So the sun's come out. It was actually forecast to come out at midday and it was like bang on to the minute. It was, it, the sun came out, it was lovely, so. It's the first time the forecast has actually been pretty right. Yeah, not complaining. <laughs> Serbia and once again it was a nice and easy border crossing which was awesome I think yeah it was like five minutes other side or maybe five, five minutes total yeah so there was actually in this one there was a few kilometers between each border post because we're actually driving through the middle of a, a gorge or a canyon so now we're just going to follow this up to where we're going tonight to the river so I think it'll be a nice day of driving through these beautiful mountains I just went for a walk up the track, that's why I'm a little bit puffed. Um, and it actually, you can't get through anymore, the, uh, it's all washed away and there's exposed all the rocks and they're about a metre high, so not even the troop will get past that. So I just checked on Google Maps, it looks like they've cut another road in which bypasses the whole farm. So we're gonna just turn around and go back there and just try and get around that way. Funny feeling that we're gonna have a dirty droopy again. I don't know how this keeps happening. Ooh, there's another bit of mud flinging up. Oh well. Yeah, it was funny though because Google 
was telling us that we could have gone on the nice paved roads through the canyon and it would have been an hour longer. But now yeah, so our GPS was telling us that we could come this way over the mountain and it was, I thought, oh well, what have we got to lose? We've got nowhere to be. And I'm glad we do. I mean, coming on tracks like this, it's just off the beaten path, beautiful part of the country. Nobody else. So, in other words, let's just trust the GPS to give us a good time. Nah, let's trust the trippy to get us where we need to go. <laughs> Look at this. to go have a look at the lookout of the river. Uh, it was a pretty fun drive here, <laughs> don't you reckon? Yeah, that's what we got the trivia for. <laughs> yeah. We've often joked throughout the trip like that. So we put um, open source mapping onto our Garmin GPS. So we just go on these, and it's the same mapping which is on the app Maps Me. So we've often joked that we go on these Maps Me adventures and they always turn out to be fun. <laughs> yeah, a much more unique experience. <laughs> yes, definitely. So anyway, now we're walking up to the lookout. I don't think it's only maybe like half a kilometre or something, not too far. And just in time for sunset, I think. It's good timing. In Australia, the sheep's tails are cut off for hygiene, and I've never seen sheep's tails that long. Or a kangaroo's tail. <laughs> this is so long and fluffy. So that was the coldest night that we've had in a very long time. It was negative five when we went to bed and it was uh, about nine o'clock this morning, it was still zero. So everything was frozen. There was a pretty heavy frost over the ground. All the water and stuff from where we went off road yesterday over the car was all frozen. The canvas. <laughs> canvas, so we had the roof up. We actually slept down the bottom again. But we had the roof up when we were cooking dinner and um, when I pulled it down, all the canvas like creaked and cracked and it was just all frozen. 
But beautiful outlook here. This is where we came to after we went to the canyon. Um, in this region, just like in the Starns, like it's just pretty much open paddocks, so we found this one pretty easily. We've had a few shepherds come by with their flocks. Nice guys, young guys, pretty, cu <laughs> pretty curious, which um, we haven't had in a while. But we, uh, we also woke up to some news changing in Romania, which is the next place we're going to head to, and um, we're going to explore the western uh, side of Romania. But COVID is not going very well there, so and we're about two weeks off arriving in the UK. So they've up the category of, of Romania uh, in the UK at the moment. So we don't want to risk potentially that going again higher and then we're also having complications getting into the UK. So we're actually going to go and, uh, to the north of Serbia now and then start heading west into Croatia and start trying to get into those um, those far western countries. So if something happens in the east here, we still have easy access into the UK where, where we're going to finish. Uh, we don't want any more hurdles at this this point of the trip. I mean, we came back to just get this back home, so that that's the main objective, and that's what we want to focus on now. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start heading north and then west, and um, then we're going to try and just kind of beeline across those um, those central kind of European countries, so um, Croatia and then um, Italy and then France and then and then into the UK. So we'll plan to be in France, oh, so the UK in about what a week, a week or so. Max. <laughs> Yeah, so we probably won't do as much filming as we have done traditionally, but um, we will be covering a lot of ground in the next few days. So it's been beautiful exploring this southern part of Serbia. We will check out a bit of the north, and um, and then yeah, we'll show you what we can about the rest of the countries. day driving across Bosnia and the sun started to come out about midday so that was really pretty it was a really lovely drive we pretty much just drove through the mountains the whole time um, so we've driven to a city called Mostar which is famous for its bridge where boys jump off it at I think what, what 16. Are you, at 16 um, right of passage and that's how they become men are you gonna jump off it but yeah, so we just came to a hostel and asked if we, if we could camp there and have breakfast there. So she's charging us 15 euros, so that's not too bad, considering the campgrounds are the same and we're right in the middle of town. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go check out the bridge now and go and find somewhere for dinner. Place. It's absolutely gorgeous here and we've actually come to one of the local restaurants 
to have dinner. So I've ordered a traditional Bosnian dish, which is the dolma and I think it's stuffed peppers with some beef and some rice and a local beer, of course. Um, and we're actually next to the smaller bridge of the main one. So this one was built first just to make sure it was structurally right before they built the other one. Um, and yeah, I think it was actually reconstructed after a flood. So. In 2001. 2001. Yeah, yeah. Away. it must have been a pretty crazy flood to wash that away. So, anyway, it's a great spot, and I'm pretty hungry. And Jolly's double park. I know. I just ordered a red one too because it's beef. <laughs> <laughs> you came really quick with it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm -mm. Thank you. So we finished our quick trip across Bosnia. We are now in Croatia. We are heading south just over these mountains and then we're going to punch out just near the coast. Once we get to the coast, we're going to head west and follow the coast road. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to get today, but we'll just play by ear. We're going to leave tomorrow and we're going to head into Slovenia and onto Italy. But that's essentially, as I mentioned the other day, what we're going to be doing from now on. So spending a night in each of the countries and trying to experience a little bit of the culture and in that short amount of time that we can. But Doing that in Bosnia was really good. The landscape, the architecture was just amazing. The people were really friendly. And now in Croatia, it is a bit of a shame we are in the off season and we don't get to really experience that, but it is very accessible as like most of this part of Europe. So it's a, we can easily come back here. The weather has significantly improved here. So it's nowhere near the temps we're experiencing over in Serbia. So I don't know, maybe Dolly might be tempted to get in the water. Oh. <laughs> Promises. We'll see how we go. <laughs> go. With the end right around the corner, make sure to catch the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.